Ag AM in Kansas is brought to you in part by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Hello and welcome to Horsin' Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. Today, joined by Dr. Lori Beard. She is our equine internal medicine specialist here at the vet school and is a clinical professor here at the college. Today we are going to talk about some uh, a topic that maybe people don't uh, know a lot about and even associated even with horses and that's lepto. Could you uh, shed a little light on that disease? Sure. So leptospirosis is an infectious disease that affects um, humans and other animals. Horses uh, do get infected. I would say that the infections we see are somewhat sporadic. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we see is an eye disease that either occurs as an infection or at least an exposure to the organism called equine recurrent uveitis, or some people might know it as moon blindness. Yep. Okay. Yep. And that results in inflammation in the eye and can result in blindness. Uh, the other thing we do see with lepto is abortion um, in some cases. And then there are a, a number of horses that we've seen for nonspecific types of clinical signs with lepto. And, you know, I think that a lot of people, they'll hear about lepto and lepto and, and their dogs, or at least vaccines, and do we have anything like that uh, for horses? Yeah, actually there is a new lepto vaccine that some people may have seen in the horse magazines that's been marketed to the equine clients. Mm. And so then the question is, do I need to vaccinate? I would say that probably what you need to do as a horse owner is consult with your veterinarian because there may be certain areas um, or certain types of horses that might benefit from that vaccine. But as of right now, I don't know that we're recommending that as a core vaccine. Okay, and so when you say areas, what would people say be more concerned with when it comes to lepto or maybe their horse getting exposed to lepto? Very good question. So we know that lepto is shed in the urine from wild animals, cattle, even dogs. And so sometimes we see it in at least in, uh, we don't know as much in horses. So we know that other animals get exposed um, in the wetter times of the years. Hmm. Right now, we do have actually some research going on to kind of answer some of those questions. Um, do we see lepto being shed in the urine of horses that aren't showing any clinical signs? Because we certainly do see that in dogs, cattle, and, and other animals. And so that might help better answer those questions as far as is my horse at risk for having lepto, getting exposed to lepto? But in general, we would say um, exposure to other animals and certainly exposure to things like stream, ponds, that sort of thing, and then wetter times of years for sure. So yeah, just like that of which would be concerned potentially with the dogs may be a concern with the horse. Now you had mentioned that uh, there's ongoing research, there's current research kind of going on, and we're actually doing some of that research here yep. uh, at, the, at the vet school. Um, what is that type of research, I guess, that we're doing with that? So it's basically we're looking at trying to uh, identify some owners that have healthy horses. Mm -hmm. And we're just collecting uh, urine and blood. And we're actually looking for the leptospires themselves in the urine. Um, and we are looking at a few things on the blood work as well. So if um, there are people that would be... Um, interested in participating, that's something we would be thrilled at. Just again, it's, it's healthy horses and it's simply just a collection of urine sample and a blood sample. Yeah, so just I guess seeing the prevalence or seeing what horses may have or may not have yeah. it uh, here uh, even in the region. Yes, and we may find a very low prevalence, but that's why we're doing the, the, the research. Well, that is great news, and I uh, sure appreciate all the information about lepto, uh, Dr. Beard. And if you have extra questions about uh, leptospirosis in horses or other aspects of it, you can sure give us a call here at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center, and we sure uh, answer or help uh, with those things. And in addition, just like what Dr. Beard says, if you're considering the lepto vaccine, consult with your veterinarian and decide if that's what uh, your horse may need, uh, depending on the area. Well, that's uh, all we have for Horsing Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center, and we'll see you around. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. To see this show and past episodes of Ag AM in Kansas, go online to agamincansas.com.